Hi, welcome to Package Main, a channel about Go, and I'm your host Alex Pluto. Nowadays, almost any conversation will inevitably end up with discussing NFTs or non-fungible tokens. However, I'm not going to talk about it that much today, simply because I'm not an expert in this space. I will rather focus on the technical part of generating the collection of unique images by programmatically blending the layers together. That should be fun, right? And in future, probably, if I get more knowledge in this space, we can probably make another video on minting these um, images on a blockchain network. To generate the images for a collection, you'll be using multiple layers to blend them programmatically. For this example, I chose three types of layers. There would be 10 unique backgrounds, there would be 10 gophers, and there would be 10 quotes that these gophers say. And this will allow us to create 1000 unique images for our collection, and each image will have only one background, one gopher, and one quote. I'm not an artist, so I had to find some assets that we can use for this video. And I want to respect author's licenses, so I carefully selected few assets that we can use here legally. For the backgrounds I chose Coco Loris on Unsplash, and for the gophers I chose Maria Letter on the GitHub. She has free gophers pack, something like that. I put the links below. And I also generate 10 simple quotes myself. And I already put all the images into separate folders. So there is a folder for backgrounds. Let's check an example. There is a folder for gophers. And there is a folder for quotes. So all files are in PNG. Before writing the program, let's define what it will do. It will be an executable program that will go through the all folders and programmatically create all possible combinations. And the program also will store all this combination into a separate folder, which I created, which is collection, which is empty right now. As you can probably imagine, this program will rely a lot on image goes package. Now, as everything is ready, let's start writing our program. And I will code the entire program in the single main.go file. However, if you prefer, you can put types into different packages, functions into different packages of files, etc. But this program is not going to be that big, so it will do well with just single main.go file. Now let's define a type called layer, because each layer needs some configuration. So on top of our package main, I'll define the type layer, which is struct. And the first configuration that it needs is probably the assets folder, which is the path to the folder where all assets are stored. So it can be just a string. Then we need an offset, telling where to put an item on the final image. So in the left corner, in the middle, etc. So let's call it position. And we can use image dot point type for that. And what I'll create also is the next layer, which will be a pointer to the layer. Why pointer to the next layer though? I think this program will benefit a lot from a recursive approach. So data structure like a linked list would work well here. Imagine we'll have a recursive function and one argument would be a layer, and then we can call this function again, and just say layer.nextLayer. Now let's define all our three layers. So, and I'll start from the bottom. So let's do quotes layer first. So layer as this folder would be quotes, then position image dot point. Now I already calculated some uh, offsets for my images. So the gopher would go in the middle and the quote would go in the top right corner. So I could calculate it so it would be x668 and 100 from top and we don't need next layer here. Now let's do the same for the for the gophers layer. So gophers, gophers would go in the middle so I calculate it would be 256 from both sides and the next layer would be a pointer to the quotes layer. And our top layer, or kind of the back layer, the final is the um, 
backgrounds layer which is in the backgrounds folder and since it's a kind of background will take the full image so we don't need any offset so just in the in the top left corner and next layer would be the coffers layer now we can create our recursive function that will go layer by layer iterate all images in the folders and create all possible combinations so i'll create a new function called add layer so this function will receive a layer and also all previously generated images so for each previously generated image it will add um, all possible co combinations from the new layer so let's call it previous images and we can use image rgba and then layer and so it will return new images so image rgba i don't think we need an error in this case mm, actually no let's let's i think multiple things can happen here so let's have an error now let's imagine how it will work. So we'll take a we'll got add layer for the first time with maybe some empty image and it will take all background images and create 10 images with the background. Now we'll call add layer again for each background and for each background we'll create 10 gophers and then for each background at each gopher another add layer function would be called and that's how we get 1000 of unique combinations. Now first of all let's check if layer is nil then we can just return previous images and nil saying that we can basically stop now i won't write the whole function yet i'll just do some placeholder code first and then we'll fill the missing pieces so first of all what we need to do here is to get all images from from the layers folder right so let's imagine it's layers layer images image dot image and now I'll kind of take the previous images and the layers images and create all possible combinations and we'll define a new array new images image RGBA and this should be pointer and let's iterate over all let's say previous image range previous images and then another loop but by the images of the current layer so layer image now the main logic of blending the images will happen inside this for loop however I'll, I'm going to skip this part um, because I want to test if the function work, works itself uh, but what we need to do here is we need to create a new image or a new instance of the image so we don't mutate the uh, previous image here so let's call it destination and we'll call image new right, new rgba we need to pass a rectangle here and so we can use the size of the of the pre previous image so previous image bounds now let's say to do here um, blend layers and imagine once once kind of we update this uh, destination variable by blending two layers we can add it into our new images slice so append new images dst right now we can call this add layer function again that's where recursion happens and we pass new images and our next layers which will be layer dot next layer great and since i'm not using this layer image yet i'm going just to do kind of that now let's call this add layer function from our main func so let's see collection and error equal add layer now what's interesting we need to pass something in the previous images and we don't have anything yet so i'll create the empty container of defined size and it will just pass it to the add layer and it will be filled with all backgrounds and later all these coffers etc so we'll create the base image by using as well image new rgba 
then I think image rect and then so that's the offset and then the size so our images will be the size of 1024 by 1024 pixels which is the size of our background so we'll do something like that previous images is an array so we can do um, image or gpa pass our base image and then uh, pass our layer so the first layer would be backgrounds layer so we can just pass it here and let's check for an error so if error not equal nil um, let's just print the error itself so error dot error and um, something like OS exit let's say one just for the debugging let's print um, the size of our collection that's important right now to verify that our add layer is at least working to some degree we can check the that is blending the images yet but we can check that the collection size is correct so we can just simply run go run main go all right it's still empty and let me check why and i guess yeah that's because we kind of skip this part so we don't actually read in the images from the folders yet so let's implement this part first to actually read the folder of the layer and append all the images into these slides. So to do so, we'll be using the, I think it's called filepass.walk function, which needs root and walk func. So the root would be our layer.asset folder. Then I think it's func, um, the path string, then file info which is os file info and then error and it returns an error as well and let me check right so it it can return an error so let's handle it as well let's for example do it if error not equal nil we can just return I guess we can just return images and then we can use errors wrap um, error and some message unable to traverse the folder so now first of all let's check um, maybe if error because the function will actually send okay the previous call would send an, a possible error here so we need to check it as well so let's return this case just an error let's also check if the if the file info is actually a directory so we need to skip it as well so if file info is directory in this case we just return nothing now let's open the file itself so file and file error and the OS that open and we send this path here obviously check for file error turn mm, let's use wrap as well so file error unable to open the file Right, then here we just need to um, decode our file into image. So IO reader would be file, it returns as image, um, then a string, in the format which we don't need, and an error. So you can just use the say image, then you can skip this and say decode error. Then return unable to decode an image. Otherwise, if everything was good, we can just append it to the layer images. So append layer images image. And yeah, just return nil in this case. Uh, we can remove this to do command. Actually, just make 
to make a comment I think should work. Now let's test by running the program again. Now there is clearly something wrong in the program. Now let's check the function again. I think everything is the right. I know that if we are decoding the PNG files, we need to include to import image PNG as well. But since it's not used literally, we need to do something like that. And now let's run it again. Great, now we have a lot of images in our collection. Obviously, it's it's a pointer to image.rgba, so we can tell what's inside. Um, and it doesn't really matter. Now let's just continue with our program. All right, we also have to implement another part that we skipped, which is here, to blend the layers. Um, what we need to do, we need to blend the each previous image with each new layer image. And to do that, we'll use draw slash, oh, so, sorry, image slash draw package. Um, we already have our kind of new RGBA image container, which is empty, it just has the same size as the previous image. So first of all, we need to actually draw the um, the image, the previous image into this container. So use DST, we'll use DST dot bounds, which is the size, then the source, which is previous image. Then I think it's we can use zero point here and draw over. So just draw over. We, here we didn't do anything new, we just copied the previous image into the container. Now we need to add a new layer on top. And we remove this part, so we need to add it back. Layer image, and we add it on top. So we do it similarly, draw to draw. Also on DST, um, actually here will be previous image bounds, I think. Now, the size layer image bounds, but remember that we added offset um, property on our layer uh, just to tell where to put the image itself. So we can do add here and we need to pass the position, which will be layer dot position. That will assure that we move our layer image a little bit if defined. Now we are adding layer image and this part would remain the same. So uh, zero point and draw over. All right, I will enter say something here. Um, use image point instead. All right, we can do that. If that B is going to be duplicated, it doesn't matter for us that much. All right, so I hope that we blend images properly here. Uh, in order to test it, obviously we need to um, write them on disk because right now they just in the memory, they stay in the memory in this slice collection. Now let's iterate over it and actually put every file on disk. And we have an already empty folder, as you remember, collection, so we'll put everything here. So let's say image range collection. Don't need to print this anymore. Now let's create a file first, so for the output, so os dot news dot create. Um, sprint f collection um, something dot png, and I want to have a random file name for that, not just going one to three, so we can see the images randomly. In, in random order, so I'll use UUID for example, and um, let's see if it's included. There is a new string from the Google UUID. Let's see, is it imported? Yeah, that's what I want to use. So it returns a string. Obviously, again, let's check if error not nil. Um, yeah, we can just print the error exit. And here we can actually use image dot um, 
actually no, it's png.encode because each package has, has its own writer. So that's out and our image is image. Now actually since we use png package, literally we can remove this part. So um, otherwise it will duplicate it. All right, it obviously returns an error. So as well, what we can just do here. I don't know if Nicole Neil. Um, yeah, print an error as well. And exit. All right, since we work with files, it's better to close it. So we can do out close at the end. And actually, probably forgot it to do it here as well. Uh, since we open in file here, so let's do. Actually, here we can use defer file close since it's inside. A function so we open only one file assign one function here defer won't work because it's a loop uh, and it's not good practice to defer in the loop all right i think our code is ready now let's try to execute it and see if it works or not all right took some time to generate all the images because png.encode takes some time all right now let's go and see what we've got all right so that's all our combination right combinations right here in this folder as you can see different backgrounds different gophers um, let's open some of them uh, yeah, like this guy says print to land something um, this one as well let's just say this is fine so that's kind of thousand of images all are unique all right we learned a little bit how to generate images programmatically in Go by blending the layers. Now, what's next? As I said, if I learn a little bit more in NFT space about NFTs topic about blockchains, maybe I'll do another video on how to mint this collection on the blockchain network. But for now, that's it. And I hope it was interesting and helpful and see you later.